Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the World Championships of X-Wing here in St. Paul, Minnesota. For the Gold Squadron Podcast, my name is Asa. I'm Andrew. And we're back with round two of day 1B on the right side there. Colorado native Dutch Cuthbert. Well, not native, but he's there with those Colorado <laughs> proud ships. Uh, those Colorado proud ships uh, painted by Luke Carrington of Gold Squadron Paint Cast. Yep. Over there, two Aether Sprites and two Gold Squadron Troopers. On the left-hand side, Lieutenant Sai, Vader, and Soontir. Now, this list is familiar to me. Yep. <laughs> And uh, we have, uh, for the Empire, we have Andre hailing out of uh, Tool, Tool Squadron in Iceland. Is that how you pronounce that? Tool? 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 Uh, it's not that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am known for mispronouncing uh, foreign names, so I'm going to keep with that tradition. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of Tool Squadron, a lot of Icelandic yeah. players here today. They are all over the place. I actually saw a picture last night on the X-Wing subreddit. The president of Iceland is learning X-Wing. Oh, really? And apparently is oh, following awesome. the progress of the pro players Oh, here. that's so cool. So that is fantastic. <laughs> Shout out. To the president of Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this stream. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> so we're going to break down these lists here. So we have Andre uh, running, um, I'll guess, say it's, I'm just going to say Palp Aces. Yeah. This is pretty much what, really it is. what it is. We have Lieutenant Sai with a jamming beam and Emperor Palpatine. Darth Vader with fire control system and afterburners, and then Predator on Soon Tier Fell. This is one of my favorite lists ever to fly. It's got two lists. It's got two of my favorite Imperial aces: Darth Vader, Soon Tier Fell, two of the best aces on the market right now, and Lieutenant Sai there to back everything up. Now the one thing here, it only has a 12-point bid. So while <laughs> he is heavily ahead of Dutch, that's not really going to matter in this matchup. Anyways, yep. no initiative sixes. He will fall short in the Nantex. Con yep. confrontation where most of those guys running with 17, 19 point bids. Yep. I think that's going to hurt him in his overall world's bid here. Yeah, it could. Um, so with the... Uh, sorry, they're just talking a lot right now. Yeah. How can we turn our table audio down a little bit? Uh, we, okay, there we go. That works. <laughs> <laughs> um, just because they're they're having conversation and we're trying to have a conversation, right? Uh, so, yeah, with um, I mean, a twelve point bid is is pretty healthy. It's it's sizable for just about everything. Just else. about everything. Before the Nantex came out, it wasn't enough. Yeah, and then once you see, yeah, then once you run into an Nantex of, of someone basically running a twenty point bid, right? Uh, it's it would be a problem, but that is not what we're into this time, because uh, Dutch is running Obi One with Sense R two Astromech and Seven B. Mace Windu with Foresight, which is the basically the range, uh, all the way out to range three bullseye snapshot. Right. Then you have R2 Astromech and 7B, and then two Gold Squad Torrents. So ju basically it's blockers, uh, just mm -hmm. stuff to, just some extra guns, mainly just stuff to get in the way. Right. Now here's something, Mace Windu there with Foresight, so time is started right now. Uh, Mace Windu with Foresight there, an excellent little, an excellent player. R2 Astromech being able to regen. Yep. He's got foresight, so if he if he talon rolls, if he does those sloops that the uh, that the the Aether Sprite does so well, get the force back, and then he can perform he can move his arc around, perform that foresight attack out to range three. Yep. That's a fantastic card. Yeah, no, it's actually really good. Yep. Uh, and I've I'm surprised that I've seen so much of it. Um, Are you surprised or unsurprised? Well, 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 I guess like I know a lot of people don't like snapshot. Right. Because of its limited range. But you'd think that, like with uh, with foresight, you'd feel more limited just because it's bullseye. But then at the same time, you do get kind of like a soft mod in there, right? With, with the force uh, focus to f uh, hit conversion. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, and, like I mean, foresight's pretty inexpensive too, right? Yeah. It's it, it's a four point card. Yeah. Right. And I, I like foresight a lot more than most of the other force yeah, talents. Yeah, yeah. Most of the other force talents are not that good or very specific things that right. you bring for very specific purposes. Right. Um, and, for, like, Foresight's just a good sort of all-around card if you have that four points. Dutch is obviously not going with a bid right here. Yep. Uh, I think the conventional wisdom holds true. Bid big or don't. Yep. Like, yeah, bid yeah. big or fill those points. Yeah, unless Dutch, you can guarantee that you, that you have to move last or guarantee right. that, you know, it's like, well, this is what's going to happen. Just, just forget it. 
Right. Right. One point, maybe. And what Dutch has done here in the Initiative 5 matchup for Obi-Wan is just said, you know what, I don't really care. Yeah. There's not a whole ton of, say, Guri floating around. We yeah. saw some yesterday with that Fen Guri list. Yep. Uh, we saw a little bit, but there's not a whole ton. Kylo is perhaps the, the most damaging Initiative 5 other than other Obi-Wans. Yep. And I, I have seen at least two or three supernatural Kylos in the field today. Really? Yeah. Supernatural uh, but, but You have to assume that they're just running like an insane bid and you probably won't be right, that Right, like anyways. Kylo quick draw yeah. bid <laughs> and, and that kind of stuff. <laughs> yep. Yep. So Dutch is just relying on his on his tactics, on his yep. play to to pull him ahead in this game. And I think he definitely has a shot. Now, let's talk about Andre's list. We saw Lieutenant Sai on the table yesterday with D. Yoon's list. An, a phenomenal piece. Just yeah. action economy for days and days and days. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, his ability is so good, especially when you have two aces right. that really can capitalize on kind of seeing where, where at least half of uh, Dutch's list is right. going to commit. And, and not only that, but capitalize on just being coordinated to the focus. Like, yeah. that's that's the important thing with both of these aces because Sai's most powerful coordinate action is that focus. Yep. Because he'll be able to coordinate soon tier or Vay to the focus. Both of those ships can do actions off of that focus, soon tier can boost or barrel roll. Vader can do, well, whatever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> really. Vader doesn't have an action limitation other than he can't boost natively. Yeah, um, and, and, and that's the thing that's so good about Vader, too, is that the coordinate is so strong on him because right. you can get your entire suite of actions and then bump something or K-turn. Right. Or you can, do half, you can do half your suite of actions and then go and then do them again. Yep. It's fantastic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, so this is, uh, is going to be an interesting match. Uh, who do you think has an edge? Well, you know what? This is going to be tough because I know both of I know I know Dutch. Yeah. But I also know how strong Andre's list is. I know yeah. Dutch is a fantastic player. He plays extremely methodically. Uh, not very familiar with Andre's play, but I know this list is strong, having played it before. Yeah. I have my knock open, actually. Mm -hmm. Seven and no, or six and no, day one. Just, <laughs> oh, oh okay. uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Look at this guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, it absolutely is a great list, um, and he does have the he does have the advantage of moving after Dutch. Uh, the, the the trick here is going to be those gold squadron troopers. Yeah, because getting those they, blocks off. Exactly, getting the blocks off. Not necessarily on the aces, but on Psy. Yeah, because if stop Psy that is exactly from if Psy is unblocked, there is nothing that Dutch can do to stop these aces from for, running amok. Yeah, for doing anything they want. Exactly. It doesn't matter if he sticks two gold squadron troopers right there. Psy comes up, coordinates some barrel rolls, some boosts, some yep. nonsense, <laughs> some and stuff. who cares, yep. right? So, and, and this is this is kind of an interesting setup for Dutch too. Yeah. So we. Pretty much, like, Vader, Suntir, and Psy can just joust these guys right. and just, just remove them. Uh, Vader has a tendency to just destroy anything Delete at range. Ships. Yeah, just, especially ships with no hull like yes. this. Yes. Or no uh, shields, cause, excuse Because once you get those crits in, mm -hmm. it's just, it just it ca cascades so quickly. Right. So what I want to see from Andre here is quick moves. Yep. Is a blitz down onto those gold squadron troopers. Because Obi-Wan's all the way up here. You know, Dutch has, Dutch has got a good opening coming. It, it's very solid for like an ace matchup. Yep. Um, he's 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 being he's being conscious of, of of everything going on down here in the corner. But these gold squadron troopers are overextending. Yep. And fast maneuvers from Suntir and Vader could see them in a really really tough position. Well, if you even if you saw a five straight out of Suntir this turn, you could probably see a shot onto Pink here pretty Absolutely. easily. Uh, Absolutely. Getting any free damage in. To that right there is really, I mean, like just getting, just yeah, just squeezing in little pot shots here and there yep. uh, with Suntir, and then you come in for the kill, especially with Predator. That's exactly what you want. So Mace Windu and Obi Wan Kenobi coming in, Mace with a three straight, and Obi Wan with a three bank. I think maybe seeing that possibility yep. and coming down to support that as much as possible. Not taking boosts though. Yeah, uh, yeah I think he still wants to have that five straight available. I think so to too. To see where they commit to. Mm hmm. And in fact, Andre is not quite committing yet. Three straight from Darth Vader. Yep. Now this does put him in a position for the next turn to pretty much guarantee that he can get a range one. Right. Even without afterburners, I think, because mm -hmm. he could definitely five straight uh, and and do that, or do the three bank and then barrel roll to get into that range one. Even yeah, if they I, do I, one I straight. like that. I like that five straight more. Five straight over here. We can bear. We can boost in there with afterburners. Barrel roll back if he needs to. Yep. Mace Windu can't come in quick enough. Yep. Around that gas cloud. 
Yeah, because you you like uh, like they like the Jedi's are great because they they can go over these these gas clouds and not take any uh, pretty much any really like right, downside. Meaningful. Yeah, because they can still do their. Uh, they can still do their fine controls right. and, and reposition as needed, um, and they have the force for mods, so it's still fine. Because most of the time they just take a focus anyways. Right. Pretty rarely that they take target locks. Uh, now we do see soon tier, basically, um, kind of. Yep. Yep. Here's the he, separation. He is he is threatening Obi Wan. Do that five straight. I dare you. Exactly. He's he's keeping he's keeping these Jedi honest. Yep. And, and the other thing that soon tier can do right now, he's got the two bank behind that gas cloud available to him. He can turn in. He's separate, or he's made this area clear for Psy to two bank in. And get those coordinates off. Exactly, and provide a backstop for Darth Vader right yep. here. Now, this is the trick with this list, is soon tier can't be coordinated right now. Yep. Um, it, it's, it's oh, gonna, you're right, yep. Because he is stressed, so Andre does have to be careful to to keep them sort of tethered to Psy's range three. Now, Psy's range three is large. Yeah. That's a big old range three bubble, but he does have to keep those aces tethered. Um, so Psy coming out here with like a two three straight coming up either this lane or down in this direction I, th I think I think the the bottom direction is a better channel for Psy to go into because then he has a couple turns to where he can kind of orbit if that's right. where the where the engagement is going now we do see Andre basically we'll probably see he's he seems to be a relatively uh, careful player which you kind of have to be when it comes to aces right but we definitely see him saying, all right, well, if Mace is right here, my suit here is right here. You should probably just commit in here as I just run away. <laughs> and, and that leaves Vader to just eat the torrents. Yes. Thank you, Dion, correcting uh, my spelling there and Andre's name. <laughs> <laughs> it's Andre, not Andre. Andre. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> Dial's going down here. 66 minutes left in this round. Yeah. And we, this is going to be a pretty interesting. Uh, if if he gets overly, if Andre gets overly aggressive with soon tier, right, um, he can just pop sometimes. Right, because so you, you have to be very careful. There are arcs poised to come in at him yep. from these sorts of positions, covering this whole area. Yeah, these if are the we, mind games of an ace match, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's you know, clearly I cannot choose the cup in front of me. Right, like. There's and clearly I cannot choose the cup in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you're, and th this is what makes uh, X-wing so much fun to me right. is that you're you're kind of like double faking sometimes of like I, I'm leaving myself open. Right, uh, leaving myself open. Yeah, leaving, but yeah, leaving myself open for all of these positions, and you have to choose. And sometimes, like you can even put yourself in a position where you just get to choose after everything you know happens. Right. So now like you could just see honestly a two straight. And then barrel roll, and then boost either way, right. based on the threat level of what he thinks he's running into. Now, of course, Suntir does have, he has to be careful. I think one of these turns, Andre needs to end unstressed within yes. range of size so that he can start to come in and, and get take the, advantage yep. of that action economy once again. Because that's, yep. that's, I think, where Suntir is, is struggling, he's going to struggle right now. Yeah. If he has to expend both of those actions to, to stay unstressed, he won't get the focus boost barrel roll unstressed. Correct. That, that Psy loves to hand out. Yeah. And, that, and that's, um, and that's kind of the thing too. I uh, like I'm I'm not a good soon tier player. Right. So don't expect any insightful <laughs> ideas of what soon tier should do um, during this match because I'm going to be like, yeah, I think that's what you're, and you're like, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> Interesting maneuvers there from Dutch down there at the bottom uh, of the board. Number pink coming in with a one straight. Number orange with a was that a three bank? Uh, it was a two bank. Two bank. Uh, so he's opening up those arcs, uh, keeping them nice and wide, making sure that. We, okay, so we do have some committing Long here. maneuver right there. That's a three bank. And it looks like we are going to coordinate excuse me, two bank, something. Excuse me. Two bank from lieutenant side, not stressed. The only one he can coordinate is Vader, although yep. I think that is the right call in any case. Yeah. Two actions versus one action. It's always better. Yeah. Always a good yep. idea. And there's the coordinate. Uh, now we're going to figure out if is he... Okay, he's not going to link any actions on Vader yet. 
right with his I, I ability. Because I think Vader's still in the best position that he could be. Yep. Right. Because there's no there's no option to barrel roll further out. Yeah. He doesn't like. And, he's, and you, you, he's not quite in range to take that target lock yep. natively. So if he goes, if he just takes that five straight, if he takes a long maneuver, comes in here, dodges this arc, dodges that arc. Yep. So we do see um, a pretty heavy commit here from Dutch mm -hmm. going into this uh, this bottom channel here, making sure that Mace is going to be using his, uh, um, to the best of his ability. Right. Uh, now, taking the target lock. And watch this too. Uh, Mace window coming in here puts that bullseye right down there. Yep. For a predictive shot on side next round, or excuse yep. me, a foresight shot foresight, on side yep. next round. Obi Wan keeping his arcs wide, just a three straight, I think. Okay, so th like this could act, you could actually probably just see if we did see Andre commit soon tier into this channel, we're probably just going to see some range three pot shots. Just right. you know, ah, maybe I'll take a shield from you, and you probably hopefully won't hit me. <laughs> Great non-committal move from Dutch. Yep. He's, he's daring Suntir to come into that yep. lane, uh, threatening so we, to pull being right in behind him. But here's Dutch. Still yeah, debating on the fine-tuned controls here. Uh, do I get overly aggressive here, or do I just stay? I'm just going to stay. Right. He's just going to sit right there, yep. take the focus. I think that's the that's right call. That's the wise choice. Because if Suntir does not commit, Obi-Wan can still threaten him around Correct. here. Correct. Yep. And yep. here comes and Suntir. There is There's the, the turnout. Hard. Yep. He did not want any part of that just in case Mace came in. Right. Now, the trick here is for Andre to keep Suntir relevant. A yes. too hard turn is a very tight, or is a, is a very... Very committal move. Exactly. Uh, that's now pointing him completely in the wrong direction. A two bank would have threatened a, a re-engagement around this direction, yep. while also perhaps opening up a barrel roll in that direction. There's the boost. Yep, just getting him back around so he can two hard or one hard next turn exactly. and see where he needs to but go. But what that's done is it's opened up Obi-Wan now to slash in from this flank because Suntir is going to take a two turn. He can barrel roll boost, but he's not going to be aimed in this direction for yep. at least two more rounds. Yep, and the, the other problem is too, Suntir is not anywhere near coordinate range now. Right. Now Vader has taken the three straight, not quite as fast as we were expecting, but he I still would still get the afterburners exactly, here. Exactly, I would expect to see an afterburner charge boost in. Uh, go ahead and try and delete a torrent. Vader's just that hammer. Yeah, no, he uh, after after flying Hatchet Man uh -huh. uh, in Denver, he hey, is. Give it to me right there, Andrew. <laughs> Thank you for he... showing me that list, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, Vader is just a force. There Absolutely. are just times where he, <laughs> he just says, uh, yeah, pun intended. Vader is a, <laughs> is a force to be reckoned with. And if you want some force to be reckoned with, <laughs> we've got some beautiful large tokens right over there brought to us by Curlpaw Creatives and Mr. Andrew Knuckles right to my right there. He's got a coupon code, WORLDS2019. You can use that at checkout to save 15% on your whole order. And if you're in the continental U.S., $35, 35 or, or more, more yep. is the amount you have to spend to get free shipping. Yep. Uh, and there's the afterburner. He takes the target lock. Of course, he takes the target lock. He already he has the for focus. A focus. I, he, he, he already has, has the, focus. the focus. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I was like, that was a that was a bit of a misplay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yep, here comes the target lock going on to number pink, and. We could just see a torrent just die this turn. It is entirely possible. Vader has a really, really consistent amount of offense. Yes. And so he is able to put four dice with a guaranteed crit in there at range one. And here we go, four dice coming in from Darth Vader. Guaranteed crit. Ooh. And there's Natty, four, three hits <laughs> and a crit with no, none of those mods necessary. That is exactly what you want to see out of a Vader shot. Unless you're number pink, here comes the evade <laughs> dice. <laughs> oh, no! Is it a direct hit? <laughs> Will we see a direct hit here and a one shot of number pink? One, two, three, three. and the crit. Here's the, here comes the crit. Not a direct hit. So he will get to shoot this turn. So that is a loose stabilizer. Okay. Non-straight maneuvers take damage. So he is basically locked into bumping Vader this turn. Right. Or next turn. I mean, he could overshoot. Yeah, yeah. But I think the bump is still a solid maneuver. I think it's still the better call. Yeah. Because, like, and, and that, that leaves Vader in a really good Dutch position. Dutch asking, which one of those dice did you use? <laughs> I want to roll crits. Uh, here comes Mace into the shuttle out there at range three. 
Spending Dumping two, two force, force. Going for three. Taking two on to Psy. Two shields. Psy can afford to take a shield here and there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's fine. I mean, he's he, he's meant, all he's meant to do is make sure that he can coordinate as long as he can. Exactly. Lieutenant Psy now firing back in the Mace Rindu range three. Spend that focus. So these are seven beasts. So he's only going to get three dice here. Possible damage, and there's one. Torrance now. Pretty sure orange is out of range. But number pink's got a retaliatory yep. shot we right We could there see some damage into Vader here. You never know. <laughs> Range oh, one, and just there's one. An unfortunate, only one hit, two Still blanks. Still a chance. A very low chance, but a chance. <laughs> Vader is absolutely fine. Rolls yep. that one die. Uh, definitely have to say that uh, Andre won that exchange. Absolutely. considerably but here's the thing is that number pink's not dead nope he's he's still on the board and a one straight from a one straight and a bump into that into uh, into Darth Vader keeps his arc pointed enough this way that will catch Psy if he has the opportunity yep. to take that shot um, so what what Dutch has to do right here is bring Obi-Wan in I think leaving that flank I th open I think and unguarded you... from soon tears disengagement is the perfect opportunity <laughs> <laughs> Number pink sucks, <laughs> says Dutch. Uh, but no, you I watch I, your mouth. I absolutely think that um, Obi Wan just saying, "Suntir, I can allow you to get behind me. I have to catch back up on this damage right. race." And I don't think it's the play right here for Dutch to go after the aces. I think yep. coming after Psy, this lumbering shuttle right now, yep. who has to move, he has to move forward very quickly to get back into coordinate range of Vader. Yep. So um, I think we're going to see a three straight out of this. I think we might see a two. Uh, putting the, taking the uh, two yeah, he'll be in right range. There. Yeah, he'll be in range. Yep, he'll still be in coordinate range. The, the, the trick is to keep that two straight open right here. So when these guys come in, now we've got the two bank yep. to leapfrog. The two bank, the three straight over them. And see, this this is what comes from someone that actually plays pal faces. <laughs> <laughs> I played Hatchet Man, which is a completely different beast. Now, the other thing that we could see, we could see a one bank in this direction. I'm pretty sure that still keeps the coordinate tether. Opens yes. him up to threaten this lane as well. The trick is this three bank barrel roll. Uh, no, you can't three bank. They don't bank. have the three yep. bank. Well, they do me. have three bank. But it is red. red. Yep. yep. <laughs> yeah, so you can see the two bank barrel roll possibly. But that's not fast enough to block. Yes, correct. With that said, again, Obi-Wan, I think Obi-Wan's the, the big player right here. Yep. Uh, he's got to come in fast. He's got to threaten size flank. I honestly, uh, I think a three bank is pretty much the only way to do it. Mm -hmm. um, you do, do the three bank, fine tune controls, boost in, and get that broadside onto Psy. That uh, broadside. Uh -huh. There we go. <laughs> God. <laughs> all the puns. All the puns. I think we see a I think we see a two hard out of Vader this turn. I uh, think a coordinate barrel roll, like a, a, a up here, I think he's planning to get the focus force link barrel roll and uh, then two maybe a three hard. Oh I can if see. If he wants hard, to be yeah. aggressive and leave afterburners open to turn yeah. around. Now you still want like so he he he's already used one charge of afterburners to, right. ca to carve in. At least with me, I try and at least save that last charge for the time that Vader has to use it to survive. Or, or not right. get shots at. I mean I think you're absolutely right, but the other thing that Andre Andre can do right now he, he can just be very aggressive and put as much damage in while Obi-Wan is still n a non-issue for yes. Vader. Yeah, and that, that's the big thing, too, is Dutch has Obi-Wan all the way out. Mm -hmm. and, and having him come back in is going to be the most important part for right, him but, I to mean, get Andres, back. Andre's got Suntir all the way out right now. Yeah. Right now, So it's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a this area matchup right now. Yep. And Andre's got the biggest gun on the board in that area yeah. at the moment. Yeah, because Vader, Vader is just so accurate. Uh, yep, just going for the bump. Uh, probably the right call instead of trying to, to, to frog hop. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, Gains nothing with frog hopping. Loose stabilizer does up. not flip, though. So he's going to have to do a one, one straight next turn to remove it. Mm -hmm. Here comes the block attempt. There's a four straight likely to see a, a barrel roll. roll. Yep. Now, Go if on. you are the torrent player right there, if you are Dutch, do you link that with a focus? Uh, evade. Excuse me, yes. Do you link that with the <laughs> evade? Um... <laughs> So, 
I prob mm, no. I, the, I agree with you. If you catch the block, you can 3K behind it yep. the next turn. Exactly. You can 3K. You might be able to two talon roll. Yeah, you can definitely here. two talon roll regardless of what, uh, where anything else So now lands. Dutch has rolled back. That will block a f quick maneuver yep. up this way. But will it block a one bank? That's the mm. chill. Or that's the. I, if he does the one bank, I'm pretty sure. Oh. And it's a three. Going big or go home. Yep. So now that may actually block. I, I don't think it's going to be blocked into the torrent. Does he fit? That wow. is clear by a hair's breadth. Now, that is stressed. He won't be able to coordinate Vader. What that does do is that gums up Mace. That. Now the shuttle's right in this lane. Yep. That was unexpected. Unexpected and, maneuver, absolutely. Very, I mean, like, that's a good maneuver. because now here he comes has, Foresight. Yep. Ah, uh, Foresight. Here we go. And, and it, it, all, it doesn't get a range bonus, though, right? It's just two dice. It, it's a secondary weapon. does okay, not yeah. get the okay. range bonus. It's not a cannon. Uh, one hit. And well, he can spend Palpatine on that. Palpatine. Spending Palpatine. For no damage. Solid choice right there. Yep. If Mace is blocked in, he won't get re he won't get shot at again anyways. And Vader's Vader got all the force he needs. Yeah, well, and if Vader comes in with a two hard and Mace is blocked, that is a sad Mace, especially with one shield already down. All right, so Mace Window is regenning. He's yep. going to go so, ahead and drop that charge on the Astromech. Get a shield back, and there's the one bank he's going to be blocked. Wow. Side. Great maneuver from Andre right that there. That was, yeah, that was an incredible pull doing the three bank with, with Sai. Yep, Dutch commenting there, and I bet you did the three hard with Vader. Yep. So very, very interesting situation that we have right here. Obi Wan still the wild card in this matchup. Yep. In this area, he's going for Soon Tier. Going for a full commit into Soon Tier here. Maybe trying to to basically Soon Tier is on his own, which you know right. he's an ace. He can do that. He's he's got a very wide arc right here, and that's going to keep Soon yep. Tier honest. You take what the target lock, and you you just say. You you probably can't escape this one right. unless he did a one hard and he barrel rolls boosts out of the way. Going Marking for that the doesn't mark. Do the three hard. Uh, that's a red maneuver. That looks oh, like a 4K. 4K. Interesting choice. So I, I understand what I understand why Andre was doing this. I think I think if 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 Mace goes this way, goes for a block. And goes for the block. Yep. Right. Mace goes for a block. Then Vader's caught out. Yep. And, and you know, this is this is just a chance to just go ahead and just exactly. remove number pink. Vader doesn't need any help to do that. Yeah. He's got the lockdown. He has plenty of force. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't even have to spend it last <laughs> have turn. To spend yeah. Anything. It's like, what if I just roll natties and kill so you there's anyways? there's a three turn from Soon Tier. With that kind of fast maneuver, he is not going to be able to get out of the top nope. or the bottom side of Obi Wan's arcs. So I think at this point, you see just uh, you see Soon Tier. I don't know. We see just boot, evade and boost in. Yeah, and just and just say let's Try to let's get trade that some bullseye. shots. Let's do yep. it. <laughs> I do think that Obi-Wan can come out ahead of this matchup, though. Oh, absolutely. Obi-Wan's got the regen if he does take damage. He ha ultimately has, the, oh, has, the, has the, the the better jousting ship, and that's what these two are set up to do. And the, the problem is with Suntir, he will not be able to get an evade focus because he, he would probably have to double reposition this. Right. I don't think he's going to have bullseye if unless he, he yeah. barrel rolls first and then and takes the boost. Yep. And so, I don't think he can afford to do that. No, you you have to pretty much have an evade in this kind of exchange. Now it does right. look like he has arc on Obi Wan, so maybe you just token up. I think you just evade. Yeah, you just evade and just. I think you evade because that and, that and opens leave your up dial a open. Five straight disengage. It yep. opens up a three sloop if you want to be cheeky. This three bank into where Obi Wan just was to come back into this area. Yep. Um, I, I think the the evade. You know, maybe an evade barrel roll. I don't think a barrel roll down there could get the bullseye. No. And a barrel roll out might get range three, but that'll lose your own shot. Yep. Yeah. You, you, if you're going to be taking shots with soon, or yeah, taking shots with soon tier, you have to try and trade. And this is setting up to be a bloody game. I think Andre can't can't afford to fall behind yep. in the damage race, especially since we've seen poor green rolls from soon tier just erase him from the board already in this tournament. Yep. Uh, he spent palp, so he doesn't have any kind of backup. 
Right, and that was a really great tempt from Mace yes. Window right there. Yep. That foresight. I, I think you should just take the damage um, on Psy. Just to just to see, like the I guess the thing is like I'm assuming mm. that you played. Soon to coming in. There coming it is. In, going for the range one engagement here. Did he evade first? Yes, he did. He linked that to the boost. Yep. I don't think he's got. I don't think uh, he has Dutch it. calling the miss trigger though. He did oh, not. Oh no. Allow. He did not. Okay, so uh, he's going to go for the barrel right, roll because he didn't declare that. You didn't declare that evade first. You have yep. to evade first. You have to link that to the boost. You can't do the other direction. Yep. Absolutely fair miss trigger. So this is worlds after all. Yep. <laughs> no, absolutely. And and there is there is absolutely nothing wrong with being called on miss triggers for those mm -hmm. kind of things, uh, especially at this level of competition. Right. So with with, with where he is right now, Suntir cannot afford to take a target lock focus range shot at range one with no tokens. And the problem is, I don't think that he can get bullseye by barrel rolling to the to no, the right. He had to barrel roll first. Yep. And then boost and then in. boost in. So I think what he has to do, I barrel think what he has out. to do right now is barrel roll out a forward yep. roll. I don't think is quite enough to skirt that arc. He, he can't skirt the arc, but he does get into range two. Yep, he definitely he definitely hasn't skirted the arc. I think he's out at range two right now. This is going to be... Suntir's in a very, very tough position. Yep. If he does not die, he can only disengage out this way with a bank or a turn. Obi-Wan's right in behind him there. Yep. Or just turn in right Th here. Here this comes Suntir's shot, though. A massive swing. And there it is. It's still range one, only one hit. Oh, uh, this is Vader. This is Vader. Uh, uh, is that range one? Is that range one? Looks like they called it range one, and it's a, I mean, it's a dead goal. Didn't matter spot, anyways, right? yeah. <laughs> to be perfectly frank, if, even if that's a missed call, the... Uh, the damage did not the, make the a difference. Vader's going to hit three. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he already hit three before the reroll, uh, but I, they both called it range one, so yep. uh, it's, it, it's always hard to see with the top down or this kind of view. Uh, Ranges look much different, right? Yeah. Suntir's got the shot, range two. Worth mentioning that you cannot measure from an arc from the arc of a ship that is not firing at the moment. So Suntir is the only one that is engaging. Yeah. Range two in arc from Suntir to Obi Wan. No mods. So, going going for some, some natty natty luck here. That's all I can save soon to you right now. He did pick up four dice. That it should just be three. We got to have him roll into the just, dice box. Just three dice. Yep. Yeah, it looks like he got a, he got a little tilted there. Little uh, two crits coming in. Or no, yeah, not tilted. He's not. He doesn't seem angry. Just uh, just flustered. a little flustered. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tense situation. Obi Wan Double blanks blanks. out though. Two shields going into Obi Wan. As we were saying though, Obi Wan can afford to take a couple hits. Yep. He's got those shields. He's got some regen to back himself up. Obi-Wan returning fire. <laughs> there we go. Don't forget no, number pink pinks. is gone. Yep. Absolutely slam hammered. Hit crit. Spend one of the force. Yep. Just needs one evade here at least. And oh, there it is. Soon here. fell, taking a one shot. Hit, hit, and a crit. Absolutely wish that poor evade <laughs> roll. Man. Uh, had he had the evade. He possibly could have survived there. Right. Had he had Palpatine, had he had he's Palpatine, definitely he, still alive. Yep. So couple co a combination of a couple things right there. We'll go over those here as soon as the shuttle is done firing. So we got the shuttle range one into the into the rear of that torrent. Only yep. one hit, two and evades. Double evades. Torrent coming out alive. Yeah, combination of Suntir doing a couple things right there. Um, ultimately, that disengage yep. put him at risk, yep. right? Obi-Wan there, Dutch just doing a bold maneuver. Obi-Wan is a bold one, after all. He is uh, coming in here to try to catch Suntir out, and that's exactly what he did. Suntir going a little bit too fast, not able to then skirt underneath Obi-Wan's arc. Some reposition actions that didn't give him tokens and a missed trigger yep. for that evade boost in. Yep. Uh, combined with spending Palpatine, what looked like a good idea at the time, I, I absolutely don't fault 
yeah, you know, don't fault Andre for that one. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, uh, now like obviously, you know, soon tier can pop. It happens. Yes. We still have a full health Vader on the board at initiative six. At initiative six, backed up by Sai. Sai here. Yep. Uh, Sai here. I, I would. In I a would really good position. A yeah, just a two straight. Just go over that rear arc needs to stay wide. Obi Wan's going to come around here. The battle, like Sai, is going to move up towards this area of the board. Yep. Right before he turns in, so now, he can keep that arc wide and stay close to Vader. Yep. Now, and we saw last game, you you can lose the power piece and still bring it back. Exactly. Like there, and and Vader is. Again, a force. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Vader is a force to be <laughs> reckoned with. He's up there at Initiative 6. He's got that Vader hammer ready to go. Yep. He's already removed the torrent for no damage. Exactly. And he has... Yeah. So, um, Your mic sounds... And we tuned into you guys. Yes, there's going to be a bit of a delay. Um, how did Suntier get off the table? Yeah, so Suntir overextended himself just a little bit with a missed trigger on a boost evade. He wanted to boost, then evade. Should have needed to evade, then boost. No tokens. Palpatine spent earlier in the round. Obi-Wan gets a lucky shot. Suntir blanks out, and that's just what happens sometimes. Thank you, Dion. And we're back with 42 minutes left in the round. Suntir fell down. Dutch Cuthbert with a commanding 30-point lead, 55 to 25. Yep. Now, I definitely think that, with that said, Andre still has a positional advantage. Absolutely. With Vader in here on Mace's tail with the shuttle position just to, just to stay annoying. But here comes the 4K from the torrent. Uh, they only have a 3K. Excuse so me. So he's, he's just, just getting going out. fast. Yep. He he's, making, that threat of Vader. he's making sure that he doesn't get <laughs> killed by Vader. <laughs> the, the torrent's like flying, and he just looks in his rearview mirror. He's like, no, 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 no. He's, he's that tight advance coming in at him, and he's just like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. <laughs> Not like this. There's the There's two the straight, straight. leapfrogging Mace Windu. No coordinate available from Psy this round. Vader's stressed. I think you just take a target lock. Or no, yeah, not a target lock, uh, just to focus. I keep forgetting I they don't have a target yep, lock. Yep, there's the focus. Also wouldn't have been surprised to see a jam right there. We could get the target lock yep. off of Vader. Oh, that would have been a good idea. I, I actually keep forgetting that the shuttle has jam now. Everybody does, and that's why it's so much fun. Yep. Just there's the Dion cough, just, Dion Morales <laughs> just <laughs> coughing in our in our in our stream over here. Mace Windu with a two bank out, uh, spending the force for force lanes controls, boosting back in. Yep, just trying to uh, probably trying to get out of that rear arc. Right, and those, I mean, those 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 Aether Sprites do have the one turn. Yeah, so one turn in here, we might hit the Debris Cloud or the Gas Cloud, but that's not a that, huge that, deal that's for actually, Mace. Yeah, that's actually still in a pretty decent position because yep. you just one hard, and assuming that you clear that side, then you just, you just boost back just, in. And he just uses action to put that uh, to put that in the shuttle, that lock yep. back in the shuttle. We're going to regen with Obi-Wan, take, uh, take one of those charges off the R2 Astromech. So Obi-Wan's not going to be in the fight this round. There he goes, two turn. Once again, phenomenal gambit from Dutch over here. Yep. Just guessing Suntir would overextend and rather than lend his weight to the fight like we thought he needed to do, yep. just running over there, popping Suntir, force links controls to barrel roll out after the two hard turn back in. Yep. Uh, and he did regen this turn, so he's going back up to one, one shield down. And boosting right back in. Yep. Carving in, getting ready to threaten Vader. Obi-Wan versus Vader. That's how it should be. Yeah, Vader's going to win that, <laughs> just like he did. <laughs> but if it's Obi-Wan, Mace, and a Torrent versus Vader, that's a completely different story, right? Yes. Yeah, so Vader, Vader's goal at this point is to pro honestly probably dem uh, try and get rid of Obi-Wan. If he can get rid of Obi-Wan... Right. Um, he, he definitely has a much higher chance, because the, the, the Torrent is... It, they're not maneuverable enough to really fight Vader effectively. Right. And here's... And Range here's, three. From the shuttle. From the shuttle. Only shot ha happening this turn. Uh, just Two um, shots coming in. Two blanks. Doesn't matter. No unless damage they, the Unless they forgot to sh try and shoot with Obi-Wan. 
Obi-Wan's weapon's disabled. Oh, so he, never yep, mind. He yep, took that yep, R2 regen. It's just all the tokens back here exactly. uh, instead of right there. Yep. Exactly. All those tokens, you say, <laughs> they all they, they look similarly designed, like and they I, came from the same place. And I even said that he regen that turn. I should know this. He did. He took one of those shields back, one of those shields, again, from the same set of tokens that yep. come to us courtesy of Curlpot Creatives, our sponsor for today's stream. <laughs> Coupon code WORLDS2019 to get you 15% off until the Monday after Worlds. And even after that, still very, very well-priced, pretty tokens. Stuff that completes your X-wing collection isn't I, that right, Andrew? I, I do what I can. You do. <laughs> you do. You do more than you can sometimes. <laughs> Thirty-eight minutes left in this round. Dials going down. Dutch still with a lead. So the danger I'm, right here for Andre is Sai is about to separate from yeah. Vader right here. So I'm curious, what would you do with the lambda here? Do you do you carve in this way? Just take the too hard. And uh, and just h try and hide behind the gas cloud and make them overcommit to, to going over to possibly have Vader come in, or do you just just run? You know, I, I think I think it's tough to say, and I think what I do at this point, I might run, I might run here, I might try to come over the top of this gas cloud and cut Vader in hard right there. Okay. Is Vader coming around to try to chase Mace as he comes in this way? Obi Wan could come in quickly as well, but Vader's got afterburners. He can get I think, out of that little trap. I think trap. you do the three bank with Vader. Mm -hmm. I think that's the safest one because if you, if if you see Dutch commit in, right, then he can barrel roll or or just you know he can boost barrel. Yeah, roll. boost barrel. Roll, yeah, once again, he can come in and cause some trouble for the Jedi. If Dutch does not commit to the shuttle, if he comes in this way instead, then you're po positioned for a joust. Yeah. And once again, Vader's got that hammer. Exactly. And the big thing is too. So Obi Wan is down to two shields right now. Right. If he gets into a heavy engagement with Vader, you could absolutely see him taking a crit. Right. So the shuttle, the as I mentioned, is is separating, but the key then there is to cover its back with Vader. Yep. Yeah. Vader, Vader has torrent. to threaten as best he can. V19 torrent, two talon rolling to the back. He is stopping. Zero stop. Also a reasonable move if he does expect Obi-Wan to come back to here. To come yeah, and Mace go after Vader. If Mace is going to disengage in that direction, then that's a fantastic yep. option. But no, here comes Mace Window with that and one hard turn. Yep. And then he is going to absolutely see a fine-tuned controls boost in because he has that target lock. Right, he, he has. He really wants to get in that damage when he can. He is using fine-tuned controls. There's the boost. Yep. But here's the thing. I mean, if, if, even if Obi-Wan comes in here, Vader takes the three turn. I mean... Vader can put some serious damage into Mace Windu. Yep. Yeah, so th this is a superior positioning with Dutch here. And there's a maneuver towards Vader from... Just a one bang, or no, just a two straight, okay. Right, and it's, it's, a, it's a good maneuver. It keeps his arcs wide, but if Andre made the gamble, then he can skirt out through. Yep. Just Going for go a ahead. purple evade, making sure that Vader cannot push in as much damage as he'd probably prefer. There's the there's three the bank. bank. Yeah, and I think, what, I think what we see here is the, at this point, afterburners boost. Ooh, I Houston don't know. Right Do there. you use after Barrel here? roll out. I think I think you've got to, because again, because now Andre is down to damage race. He's lost one of his power pieces, soon tier. So pulling pulling that afterburner's boost, barrel rolling in here, and then you take the lock. That'll take you out of the obstruction. Mace doesn't have a great shot on you. Man, I don't know. Now you're close to Psy as well, so Psy can help give you some of that extra maneuverability back that you lose from afterburners. Gotcha. And you just gotta you just gotta protect Psy's back right now. Yep. Uh, so we just do, taking the focus, yeah. putting uh, the lockdown on Obi Wan. Yep. So looks like a range two going into Obi Wan here from Vader. <coughs> Spend that lock. But you turn that to the crit from turns that to the crit first. Where, there, there's the side. Remember to get the order of those operations right. Yep. There's two Ooh. more. Spend the force. And yeah, you spend a force right there for hit and two crits. Coming in at range two, guaranteed damage here. Force and Spending the evade. Spending both and the evade and Takes taking one, one shield. shield. And, and that's why I think going for Obi-Wan right there is a mistake because he's he's still got one R2 in the can. Yep. You're not putting any damage through onto Hall. He's got the evade. He's a very, very tough nut to crack at this point in time. Here comes Obi Wan shot into Vader, just two. Vader taking three evades, three green dice. 
And we see oh, only one evade, one taking shield one coming shield. off of That is health that he cannot get back, unlike the Deltas. Checking looks like range one from Mace Windu into the shuttle. With a target lock. Doesn't need it, though. Uh, well, he does, because he only has one force. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, now, do you spend that lock on both of those, try to retain one force? You spend lock on both, I think, is the right call. Yep. He's picking up. And there it is. There we go. Three Guaranteed hits. crit coming into Psy here. Two shields, hit and a crit, going in. Damage sensor array. That's horrible for Lieutenant Psy. Yes. That is not what Lieutenant Psy wants at all. Uh, looks like we're going to have a range, <laughs> checking for range here, possibly a range three in arc through obstruction onto Obi-Wan. Take whatever shot she can get, right? Yep, absolutely. Sometimes here at Hero Lambda. I mean, just as we saw in, the, in one of the previous yep. rounds, a range three obstructed shot, one hit coming through. Yep. Uh, now, we have seen Dutch blank out two times now but on all defense dice. He, but all that he has to do is roll one paint, yep. and there it is. There it is. Uh, now, what you really wanted was that he just rolled focus, and he has to spend that last force. Has to drop it, right. Yep. And uh, there's a torrent from downfield. Coming in to Vader. Two naked dice coming in at range three. Vader rolling four evades. One There's hit. one hit. And there are the evades. There we go. Okay, so that was not a good turn for Andre at all. Right. So I, I think once once again, not being aggressive on Mace Windu there is gonna hurt him later on because now Lieutenant Sai is down to four hull. He's got that damage sensor array, and we didn't punish Mace for taking that yep. at all. And so now, like, again, like even though even though Obi-Wan comes in behind Vader next round, um, like Vader's still got options to disengage. He still has Psy moving forward, coordinating him before he takes a K turn or a Talon roll. Yep. Uh, he still has the option to disengage out the other direction if he wants. There's a, there's a lot that Vader could do, do from this position, and putting that damage into Mace, I think, is a is a better call than again going for Obi Wan. That tough nut to crack. Only one shield. If Obi Wan, if, I mean, if he wants to, he just gets it right back. Yep. That R2 astromech is devastating for those kind of chip away lists. Yep. So now, what we, something also though, something also that we could see from Vader this turn is a three hard just to go and get rid of the torrent because he should if he's doing the one bank. Um, is that two bank blue? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, so he does the one bank. You could possibly maybe barrel roll out and still get that range one engagement, or uh, if if Dutch is trying to be sneaky, he could just do the three straight blue, three and, straight and, blue. and stop that from happening and then have Vader overcommit to something that he doesn't even get a shot on. Right. So let's see here, half an hour left in this round. Because at, at this point, Andre is desperate for points. Right. He's behind in the damage race. He doesn't have a great position here yep. either. Dutch has also had him dead to rights, both with the shuttle. Mace Windu here. Can, I mean, he can just go ahead and, and see where that's going. I think he's dialed in a straight maneuver since revealing something. We'll something. see here we in didn't just see a second, what it was, but yeah. it gives Dutch crucial information. Yep. Uh, yep, the and bank. there's the one bank. Uh, it's, he may have, Vader may have dialed in a one straight. It's entirely possible. Uh, and the Aether Sprites can absolutely block that. Once again, you know, we don't see, we haven't seen particularly aggressive maneuvers from Andre this yep. round. Yeah, he's been um, overly cautious, I would say. Right, with things like that K turn, not committing to an aggressive five yep. straight. One bank from the shuttle has to fix that damage sensor array. Because he can't do any other actions, but he still does have palp in the tank. Right, so. he could, I mean, he could focus. Yep. But in order for Psy to have any barrier no, in this game, he has to fix, yep. has to fix that sensor array. So Mace is going in for the kill here. One bank. Just you probably just take the target lock, I think. Yep. Or the focus, actually. Yeah. Uh, just taking the target lock. He's being aggressive. Yep. He chooses violence. He chooses violence. Mace has a couple shields left, a couple astromech charges. He can he can tank that. There's the two bank. Uh, Obi Wan here in a play to prevent Vader from punishing Mace for that aggression. Yep. 
See, this is what's this is this is where Dutch's cohesiveness and his plan is co is really coming together, and where Andre I think could learn a thing or two from the way that Dutch is playing that. Uh, yeah. Suntier, Suntier and Vader just weren't working as a team here. Uh, where we see Mace being aggressive, Obi Wan with this boost in can be aggressive onto the shuttle. It's also a very defensive play to stop this boost in or yep. to stop that two turn in on Mace. Yep, and we'll we'll probably see a dead side this turn with Almost only four certainly. health left. So there's that fine length or force length controls. Obi Wan Debating. likely to focus here. Yep. Yeah, deba debating on action here for what Obi Wan wants to do. Oh. So there's a 4K, 4K is what Vader's doing. So there was no way that he could block it. Right. Uh, now, Vader is in a position to where he doesn't have the target lock on Obi-Wan. Right. It's just going to be a two dice, very sad Vader shot. Unmodified. I mean, unmodified from Obi-Wan, too, until yep. he took that focus. So the focus is the right call right there. Yep. So this this doesn't put Vader in a terribly bad position for next turn. No, I actually like this. He he can because both of these like the eighth sprites are facing the wrong way. Vader next turn will have free reign to one bank there yep. to go for uh, the one bank is blue on them, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. To one bank to Ooh, go for that. There's going the for the afterburners. afterburners. But going he's going the... he's going in without a target lock. So he's just got those two force four dice with two, yep. or excuse me three dice because no target lock. Still a is still a stronger shot than it would be, and here it comes. Yep, absolutely. I did not see the afterburners coming. So hoping, hoping for some, uh, some, some lucky dice magic here. There we go. There's there it the is. Hit, hitting a crit. So you're looking for one blank on this result to get a crit into Obi Wan. And there's oh, two. And there's two the crit. possible dead Obi Wan here in PS or initiative killed. Console, Console fire. fire. You could still see Obi Wan dying this turn. Whew. And this is why it's hard to count Vader out. Yeah, right? absolutely. Vader can still do damage. He's still an I-6. Mm -hmm. uh, here comes the console fire. Still could be a dead Obi-Wan. And there's dead a dead Obi-Wan, Obi -Wan. but he'll still get to engage. Yep. So he still gets to shoot. Uh, you know, that's if... Sorry, they're talking about Destiny yep. in the background. <laughs> there we go. Three paint. Spend that focus. Yep. It doesn't need it, it anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. Uh, One result that looks like paint. You. I spend Palpatine right you there. You spend Palpatine. You there have to hope that that Mace fails out. You just have to hope. Got to make Mace work for it. Yep. Obi Wan Kenobi now dead. Range two. Range, Range two. two. Yep. There is 20 minutes remaining in round two. Now we are on a separate timer from the FFG. We have closer to 30. There's Mace. That's a pretty that average lock. roll. I think he spends that target lock on both because he wants to yes. save that force for this Vader turn next round. He has two health left. He has to max out his to guarantee the kill. He's target locking one. There it is. It. There's the Spend force. the force and guarantees the kill. Oh, he the even rolled the it's evade. Good thing yep. that he did that too. Now, what that does, though, is it leaves Mace Window with only one regen force available next round. And Obi Wan is gone. Right, because Vader's going to come in here. If I'm Vader, if I'm Vader, I one bank in that way. Go ahead and take the target lock. Yep. So the other thing is too, Mace's ability is probably going to come into play here. We're probably going to see a sloop. Right. And he's going to get two force back. That's actually a very, very good so point. So he will, be, Andrew, he will have I a full forgot. tank. Not quite a full tank. He needs three. Uh, well, no, he's going to regen one at the end of this round. Yep, he'll do a sloop. He gets one oh, back. Oh, he gets one back. Never he's mind. got yep. all three yep. down. Yep. Yep. I don't play against Mace very often. <laughs> 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 and I actually think I've only seen him use his ability like maybe one time. <laughs> so we got a shot coming in here from the V19 Torrent. Two dice, range three against Vader. A shot's a shot's a shot. And he does and have a target lock hit. here. I don't think you spend that target lock right I now. I don't think you do either. Yep. Vader's got Vader's got three dice. He's got two force still. Yep. It's it's plenty for Vader to, to <laughs> stay out of here. I think he's got to save that target lock for a range one shot after the four straight next round. Yep. He's gonna, he's gonna spend, spend though. No, uh, no, nope. nope. nope, he's just saying no. <laughs> <laughs> one hit, and there's that's yep. that's why he does only need to spend one force, but no damage through any in any case. Yep. 
Great so, conservative play from Dutch right there. Yep. Now we could see a one hard here out of Mace to to barrel roll to basically block Vader from getting any kind of shots. I mean, the, the issue Mace. right there is if Vader's stressed, it's going to be a one bank. Yep. So even that one hard turn with he a boost barrel roll. A, he can't boost barrel roll. He yeah, can. Oh, can find force links controls. Yeah. That's a I, yeah, absolutely. I, Dutch has a couple of options. Yeah, I think that, that that boost barrel roll might be the best one. Yeah, because then you can force you can force Vader to not acquire the target lock that round, and then he's going to have to turn around one more time. Yep. While well, Mace is while well, Mace is able to then sloop and regain all that force with his ability. Yep. And you you are also probably going to see a three or a four straight out of this delt or out of this torrent here. Yep. Take to possibly focus. catch on that range one block. Exactly. Exactly. Now, if you're Vader, if you're Andre here, taking a minute to consider both of those. Yep. What are you gonna do? <sighs> the they have a two bank. They do two bank blue. Cause I mean that's, that's the other thing is that it's like a two bank blue out here. I think the two bank blue is probably the safest. Two bank blue, uh, or I mean the three straight in this direction as well. He doesn't have afterburners anymore. He that's, doesn't. That's the only catch. I think two bank is the safest there. Two, if two he bank comes is the in, safest because if he overcommits. If he, right. If he sloops out then he's got a great shot. Yep. If he overcommits and goes for the one bank block, then the two bank could overshoot. Could, can overshoot. And then he's he's probably safe from the delta or from right. the torrent at that point. Now I think though a one bank barrel or one turn barrel roll straight boost might block, block both. both. Yeah. It's tough to tell. It's tough to tell from this angle. Yep. And we have uh, 22 minutes left in this round, 102 to 113 points. Really tight game Absolutely. right now. I think if, if, if Andre can kill Mace, then he's got a handy oh, he, lead right yeah, here. Ab well, he th pretty much, uh, Vader is worth more than a full torrent. Right. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Even at <laughs> half, half points. Even half, yeah. yep. half points, Vader's worth more than a full torrent. So he just does have to kill Mace, and that is a full health. Mace Windu, but yep. as we just saw, even without that target lock, Vader, he's got the hammer. He's <laughs> yeah. brought it down twice this game. We are live on you guys right now. Let me know how things are going. Thank you, Dion. Thank you, Dion. Quick summary of this game. Obi-Wan Kenobi shot down by Darth Vader just like it happened in the movies. With an un-target locked shot. Unmodified. Two un natural yep. hits and a crit. Coming in, Obi-Wan blanks out on his dice, takes a console fire, killed by the console fire yep. later on in the round. Uh, but Psy goes down in the same round. And now we have Vader in a little bit of a predicament here, uh, right. trying to figure out how he can get out of being blocked by Mace this turn if Dutch chooses the one hard. It is a very, very tight game here. Three straight from that torrent by Dion. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> and too hard coming out of Dutch here. Interesting. I think he hit the cloud. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. He is nestled right in there. I think that's actually brilliant. Yep. Because the, the two the, there's yep, the there's force the tune controls, roll. and then the boost coming in right here. That force tune controls barrel actually with the two hard or the two turn there does not block the one, but it might block the two. I think so it blocks see the if, one. I'm pretty sure it blocks the let's one. Let's see if Dutch wants to stay right there. He's gonna he's he's choosing violence. Choosing violence. He's gonna stay right there. Let's see if he takes the one. And it's the there's two. the two. Yep. There's the two. Fantastic maneuver. Now it does clear stress that this gives Vader a solid turn to turn around next turn. Right. Now there's the one bank template essentially right in there. It's, yep. It would be an extremely close run thing. Yeah. Whether or not that blocks the one bank. Yep. But a great call from Dutch right there. Two turn. The the Aether sprites are amazing blockers. They really are. And they're also amazing damage dealer. It's like they're <laughs> almost too good. They're a phenomenal <laughs> ship, especially when piloted by Obi-Wan yep. and Mace Windu right here. The V-19 Torrent, the only ship with a shot this round. Can he put meaningful damage into Vader? Two dice coming in at range two. He has a target lock. Doesn't he doesn't need it. need it. Spending it. Blanks. Oh, taking one. Still full points on Vader. Let's go into the next round. Just under 20 minutes left. 113 points from Dutch. 102 on the side of Andre. Yep. So pretty much, if Vader gets half points, he has to kill Mace. Right. 
There is no other option. I mean, his, his win condition is kill Mace anyway. Yeah. So it, w w with that in mind, I think we see a sloop from Mace Windu down here. Yeah, absolutely. Vader's, Vader's going to find it hard-pressed to follow. He can't it, like it's, it's just really tough to K-turn right now. Vader has to disengage. So, so here's the question then. Do you bamboozle and you do the too hard? I don't think you do the too hard. Vader's, Vader's still too threatened by this. If Mace takes, I mean, the, the three sloop puts his arc facing something like this. So you'll still have to too hard, maybe barrel roll out without afterburners in the can. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. It's it like that's that's a tough run thing. I think he's got to use this gas cloud for cover right now. Yep. As he straights out four or five barrel roll behind if he needs to, he needs to acquire the target lock. Yeah. He yeah. The big thing that. is is getting that lock and priming. Exactly. It. Priming the lock will free him up to K turn. Yep. To take those talon rolls to take the tough maneuvers that'll allow him to chase Mace because even though he is initiative six, Mace is proving to be an exceptionally good blocker. Yep. Mace has boost. Vader does not. Yep. So Vader's going to have to leverage his red maneuvers to get arcs on Mace. Can't do that effectively with damage. Well, he doesn't have the target lock. Here comes two straight from the V19 torrent. Yep. So he's, it looks like uh, Dutch is expecting some kind of K turn or just to chase. This right, turn. it's 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 a very good maneuver because the V19 is keeping him honest in this direction. Yep. Mace is keeping him honest out here. Yep. There's there the is sloop. the sloop. Get that force back. Get both of them. Well, he's already yeah, he's already running. Yep. yep. Mace's ability. There's the stress, and what did Vader do? So he it's a did three turn. The, it may be a Talon. So that's a that's oh, a talon roll. That is a talon roll. That, no, oh, that's no, it's just, no, it's just three, three, turn. three turn. Okay. We, the magnets on Vader. Now, with that said, Vader has just crossed that gas cloud, so he's stuck there. Yep. And he, he has cannot nothing. barrel roll, cannot reposition, no boost from afterburners. I think Mace Windu has the back end of Vader right there in his arc. Yep. Dutch Cuthbert right now checking for just that Ooh. possibility. That looks like Eclipse. I think that's a judge call. I'd call a judge in this. I'd call a judge. But it looks like they're calling oh. it range one. <laughs> Definitely a range one. Yeah. Looks like it's clear enough to the players. So four dice coming in with a target lock and double force into Vader. There's the four. Ooh, Ooh, he's got all four focus. What do you do with a target lock here? I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the right call is right there. Do you lock two and I, take the guaranteed? I think you I think I think you might take three. If if we assume that the average on three is hit focus yep. blank, right? You're, you've, you're, got a, yeah. you've got a better guarantee of at least getting one more. I, th I, I really think a, that it's just a call. question. Like, you, you're, you're, you're calling. There's the judge yep, call. There's the judge call. I think that should have been called a little bit earlier. Yeah. Though, you, yeah. The, the second question. the second you get that, that like, you have to really look at it. It's you, you, world. You, oh, yeah. Call a judge. Yeah. This. Um, okay. So, so the back is in arc for sure, but they're trying to see if it is range one or not. I see. It did call over Jeff Paul Miller, our Colorado judge, disengaging himself from that question to avoid yep. conflict of interest. Yep. Uh, good, good, good call. Judging. You know, like yeah, it, it's just good judging. It's good form. Right. Different judge coming over right now. Let's <laughs> see what that call is. Yep. Trying to figure out where this lands. That clear, extra long range ruler, by the way, emblazoned with judge on it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it is range one. So the shot is good then. We're gonna leave it as is. So there's the roll. It, it Dutch looks cut like for he's now. Take three of the these. Three. Yep. I yep, think exactly. that's the right call. Looking for that hit focus blank average or a little bit better. So it's, same it's thing. essentially yeah, the same. same yep, thing. he's gonna yep. get three hits out of that. Spending all three. Uh, 
and re-roll both of those because they fell out. And oh, that no. is Blanks. almost a dead Two Vader. Hits. Vader goes down to one hull. Will we see the torrent? We won't see the torrent finish him off this round because he has no shot. But there's still no target lock for Vader. Even a talon roll next round is Doesn't not going to really get him a good much. shot. Yep. I think we just see a uh, a two hard out of the torrent this turn or next turn. Yeah, I still think that the talon roll. I mean, I think the talon roll from Vader is the hail mary that needs to happen. Yep. Though. Not yeah. Not. Yeah. You have to just try and get damage yep. in. Mace is stressed. He won't be able to bring guns to bear on Vader if he talon rolls. Correct. I think you just have you have to take that talon roll, take a pot shot at the torrent to buy yourself some time. Get a one hull Vader is still a Vader that can shoot just as well. Yep. No depleting crits on there. Yep. But without afterburners, he's finding it tough to come around, as we definitely see. Yeah, it's uh, Vader's in a tough spot. Um, we still have 13 minutes left in this game, though. Right, and as we know, it is anybody's game till that last ship is removed. We see Mace Windu down there with only one of his three Curlpot Creators Force tokens <laughs> up right now. <laughs> Those tokens can be yours as well with the code WORLDS2019 to get yourself 15% off. <laughs> WORLDS2019 is the code there, 15% off until Monday. So, yep, there's the two hard out of the torrent. Just uh, just going to say, I'm probably just going to focus, and I've got my target lock ready to go. Right. We just need one more damage. But sometimes, sometimes that three agility can just stonewall lists. And marking that, we're going to see a disengage maneuver straight from Mace. Yep, just... Uh, just not really getting out of dodge, just really re-engaging. Re exactly. he, needs, he needs a little bit of space to come back around. Putting his target lock back in. Yep. Clearing the stress. Three straight right through that gas cloud. Dutch has also done an exceptional job this game of skirting the rocks, of putting himself in yep. in, in tough positions, in, but certainly well, right around and, those and rocks, taking, running those gaps. And taking the risks when he needed to take the risks. Absolutely. S taking a lock, priming up another hammer shot with Mace. Again, Mace Windu hasn't taken any damage. Well, he took some. He, he, took, he took one from the first round of engagement, and then he just said, oh, I'll just reach Right. It. There's the talent roll. Again, yep. not ideal by any means. But you pretty much have to do it it's, at it's, this point. Right. Vader can't afford to do that. He can't afford not to do it. Yeah. It's, it's in a really tough position right now. He just has to take that unmodified shot to yep. hope for some damage. Uh, looks like probably a range two. Going for Mace. He's going for an interesting choice, taking the range three. I mean, that's still his win condition, though. It is. Like, he has to try and and put pressure on Mace. To, if he can get one or two shields somehow and then force Mace uh, to, I to mean, start Mace running away. I mean, Mace still has an R2 charge left. Yeah. Right? Like, Mace can play the long game. Vader can't. Yeah. Right? He, he's got to get some points on the board. He's got to make it a one-on-one -on -one fight. Yep. Is that something that he can and win? Dumping a force, taking no damage from Vader's shot right there. Yep. Uh, but, like, the big thing with, with beating Deltas is you have to deplete their force pool. Right. And, and, and make them always use their force for double for repositions or something like that to one, where they only have a single mod. One hit, one blank, re-rolled into a focus. Spend that focus for two. Vader has two force, has to has dump to them all. Has to spend everything. So, there's another Destiny announcement, so we're going to completely lose our train of thought here for a moment. Yep. <laughs> so, you just, what, see? Three a, straight. Yeah, three straight. Yeah. Three straight. Uh, I think at this point, I mean, Mace, Mace can afford, he can sloop again. Yeah. Right, Mace can sloop again. He can come back in with full force. So, if, if you... V19 in the blocking maneuver. Right? If so you see that three straight, just take it, a one bank. Why not just do a two bank, then? Well, it was a two bank. The three straight will overshoot. The, well, the three, the so if he does the, he'll be right there. Three straight's gonna two, hunt, two, hit two right bank, into that. Yeah, three straight absolutely goes over. But if he can fit that two bank, that's a much better position. One if, bank or the two two bank will be blocked. By yeah, I'm pretty sure it well. will. Yeah. The one the one bank's just such a good blocking maneuver right now, and uh, that's the only thing that can get Andre back into the lead is a big hit on Mace with that target lock with yep. crits going through the shield. To shields. guarantee he can't get those half points back. Exactly. Just a two, two straight. straight. Uh, likely to see a barrel roll, actually, from this. So, it, yeah. So if we see the barrel roll, the two bank actually would have been a really 
a really solid right, the call. barrel roll putting him right back there. It might... I think yeah. he clears. He clears. Yep, he clears if it's a two-bank. Yep. Now, once again, I think he clears because he there's just putting the target lock back in, choosing violence. Choosing violence. And there's the disengage. Uh, no, that is, that is a K turn. But so it it's, does it's get a disengage, re-engage. <laughs> Takes stress, gets a force back. Three straight. Three straight. There it is. Yep. Sa safe call. Safe call. Now he and can. That's where that, and that's where the one bank gets your target lock. Yep. Blocks Vader. Does not allow him to do that. He's going to check for Foresight. Are we going to see a Foresight kill oh right here from Mace? Gosh. Is I that in? Th oh, Holy that is cow, in. that's in Bullseye. We Will can see a Foresight a kill foresight from Mace. Kill. Two dice out at range three. Oh it my is a secondary gosh. weapon. It's a munition, so no range <laughs> bonus on that attack. Let's do this. Oh, hit, hit crit, crit. coming in. Three dice from Vader. He has to roll Natty's. Natty he gets him. <laughs> he gets him. No foresight kill. <laughs> Beautiful dice from both players right finally, there. Finally, some evade showing up on Andre's <laughs> dice. Maybe a little bit too late, but man. Uh, now now he does know that there will be shots this turn. Right. So if I'm, if, if I'm Vader right now, you take I don't the think his arc is in. So he's got to take the lock. He has to barrel roll. He's oh, okay. Himself behind the so gas he's cloud. he's gonna do that, and um, oh, never mind. He There's did, a lock. Uh, yep, right choice. Yep, that's the right choice. I mean, Mace Mace has a good shot, but hiding himself behind the gas cloud gives Vader the best chance to come out yep. ahead of this engagement. Uh, yep. Three dice coming in and behind the gas cloud. Range three. FCS. Uh, no force to dump he on have that. The force. That should be two should crits. Be, should be two should crits. Be a second crit but right there. But it's not gonna get through shields yeah, it doesn't anyway. Matter. And, and Mace is fine yep, behind the gas fine. cloud. Yep. So Mace shooting back, range three through the cloud, five dice. Yep. All out no of dice mods. No tokens left. Force and a and a uh, and a target lock ready to go. Spend that lock. I don't know. He is behind the gas cloud. It's not a great shot. Yeah, he's going for Choosing it. Using violence. I mean, he knows with, he can reacquire it next round. With no mods. It's the same thing. <laughs> Ooh. And so Dutch did have both. Yeah. I don't. Yep. Yeah, yeah you, just, you don't spend it here. Vader you just should hope be that fine he rolls unless all he rolls focus. five focus, yeah. which he does not. <laughs> Vader is fine. Even if, even if Dutch, I mean, in that case, even if Dutch has dumped all his mods. Yep doesn't get anything so we're gonna see most likely a range one engagement for for this this next turn right vader has to absolutely vader has to bump. yeah vader well vader has to bump or he has to absolutely cripple mace yep into like a weapons failure and then he evades right. out like like the the win condition just keeps getting higher and higher and higher and higher yep uh, but if somehow he could get in like i'll say four shots no, he, it would still take two turns. Yep. Still take two turns, even even if he had a max hit. And we are starting to come up against the clock. Yep. Five minutes left. I think our clock is actually just slightly behind the table timer. Yep. So we're looking at just around five, just under five minutes left right now. Dutch Cuthbert up 151 to 102 points, a commanding lead with a good positional advantage as well. Uh, I think we'll see uh, Talon uh, roll out. Uh, you'll probably see Talon roll that way. Out that way. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that's a good point because the engagement is moving to this yeah. direction. Dutch just dials down. Andre deciding what to do. I think part of me at this point, you know, I think there's a couple things that he could do. He could go in for a long maneuver right there, try to bump. Right, and not take the shot this turn. K turn next turn now that he has the target oh. lock. There's you, a talent roll the yep. other way. <laughs> and what that does, though, is it does cover a disengage. It does. Right? Yeah. Just to, just to preserve points. But at this, I mean, like, at this point, you just have to gamble. Uh, One bank. Uh, I think Dutch might be calling a K turn here. Interesting. Well, that's a maneuver that we've seen Andre really like to use. He's used it twice in yep. situations this game. The second one, blasting Obi-Wan with that range one unmodified shot. Yeah. 
Dutch so, considering some other maneuvers yeah, right Yeah, possibly here. a barrel roll. That's probably where, so he could get the lateral movement right, to, a, to get that block off. A, a exactly, a barrel roll down here, and then there's the, indeed, there's the force length controls. Oh, Taking take and go evade. for the evade. So I think that, I mean it's also a very very solid choice. There's two, two bank. bank. Vader's gonna come right in here. But what's that's done? Just call the K turn. Dutch didn't get that call correctly, but even with the two bank, Vader takes the focus. He's gonna get that hammer shot. Yep. But Mace has the evade. Has the evade. He has the force. He's still got everything in the can. That evade guarantees that the crit will not go through. Yep. Here we go. Range one from Darth Vader coming in. He needs a big hit right here. Decent. FCS to re-roll that one. That turns to a crit. And two crits, spend the focus, two yep. hits, so big hit, but that crit's not going through. Huge Double hit, two blanks, blanks again. Got to spend, spend that evade. Half points on Mace for right now. Half points for now. They Mace have still has that R2 astromech, yep. and that's where Andre had to put the damage, like the permanent damage in. Now Mace Windu has a great disengagement off in this direction. Yep. Force link controls boost out. Get that, get that regen. Range three through the cloud. The chances of you actually doing damage here are so slim. He's yep. He's just doing the one great. Actually, no. They, it was impossible. He still has a focus. Yep. <laughs> or he still has a force. Yeah. He should. He yeah, did spend yeah, he that focus. The force. Yep. Yep. Great hit from Vader right there. Yep. Vader there needs to two turn in. Keep the pressure on. So this is the second time that we've seen Dutch use an evade, and it actually mattered that turn. Yes, it did. Dutch is making very, very good action choices yes. right here. He kept himself he kept himself defensive with Mace. If I mean if if that is if that crit goes through and it's something terrible like a panicked pilot. Yeah. Right? If it, that's it, a and then he just gets caught. And then he just gets caught. Like Vader, like seriously, if that's a panicked pilot that goes through, Vader two turns in, there's not a lot that Mace can do about that, or even Talon rolls. Yeah. Not a lot that Mace can do about that. He's caught out, he's only got two dice. Yep. And all he can do is just pray. And then suddenly at the end of the game, Andre comes back up. That purple evade, much maligned at launch, I will tell you. <laughs> Why would you ever take a purple evade, people ask. Yep. Right there. Right there. That That's is the, the reason. reason. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think what we're going to see here is we're going to probably see a too hard out of Vader. Uh, I think that's pretty much his only way, assuming. But we'll probably honestly see a three God, bank is, here I mean, this is, and this then is boost the, away. This is the mind games, right? And I, I love this part of this game. I, Mace Windu definitely pops that last astromech charge yep, right there. To get above half. Right, to get back above half points. Uh, I think the safe bet for Mace is a three bank. He can force length controls. And then he's got a second force that he can use that purple evade for one more time. There's the regen. Coming back up above half points, last R2 astromech charge. Because what he can do there is if, if the other thing he can do is one turn. Yep. He can one turn, he'll be, be able to he'll be able to catch that two turn, he'll be able to catch that talon roll. But what that does is if Vader calls that in banks. Yep. Yeah, so this is this is gonna be interesting to see what, what happens here. Uh, yep, the three, three bank. bank going out we can boost in behind this rock. Yep. It'll cover him from Vader. Vader, if he turns in, will still have a shot. Yep. It'll be a poor one, but, but it is still a it shot. It is still a shot. And that right now, that is Andre. That is all Andre needs. Right, but this this might be the last round. Uh, yeah, because I think we have pretty much 10 seconds left, even though our yep. clock is a little bit fast. So this will be the final round. Spending the force. That's a force length control right there. Trying to figure out what to do. Probably going to bank. So assuming that. Yep, there's the bank boost. Yep, assuming that Andre did the too hard. There's actually, no, if he did the too hard, he can, de and he, he can definitely barrel roll right. out and get that range too. Get that unobstructed shot. Yep, and that and is what time. you want. If you get too, if you get two you gotta, damage in. You got to get them all through. Yeah, yeah you have right? to pretty much get them all through. You got to get them all through because you got hit, crit, crit. And he takes and the evade. The damage, and what that does is it, it ensures that there will be a maximum of two damage yep. coming in. There is the two. So that means he has to hope for a direct hit. He, that, that won't even do it because you get the hit on the shield, you get the direct hit. What you needed is a hit, direct hit, direct hit. Or a hit, fuel leak, direct hit. Because Mace Window still has a shield. 
So with that so purple got, of eight, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, with that purple of eight, even with guarantees. the barrel roll, yep. even with the barrel roll here, Mace Windu is guaranteed to be alive if limping here on time. Yep, unless you have just some insane crit uh, variants. There's, there's, there's not crit variants that can do that there, because uh, only two hits are going through. This is range two shot. Yep. Here we go. Here's the shot, though. Gonna no do reason it anyways. for him not to take that. We have two <laughs> hits of the crit. Vader Guaran always. Guaranteed See, this is, half this is points. why that purple of eight comes in. And now we watch Dutch. With that, we're going to blank out on and that one, one die. Shield, but guaranteed half points. And this is a win for Dutch Cuthbert. He's still leading by 12 points, even with half on Mace. Yep. Two dice coming in, two hits on Vader. Vader with two evades after that force. Wow. And we see a 151 to 139. Something huge is happening on the other table. That's a fantastic tight win for Dutch Cuthbert here on table one. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to round two of day yep. 1B. For Gold Squadron Podcast, I'm Asa Graf. I'm Andrew. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next round.